I see her little face pop out from the tire of the car. And I was shocked because she was tiny. She was like five weeks old, max. I did have a look around the whole area to see if I could find any other kittens her age, but there really was no response and she really was just all alone there. So I went and grabbed my trap, I got it all set up. And then she starts climbing out and then just walks straight up to me. So I wrapped her up in a little burrito and walked her back to my car. I got her into the carrier and went back home. She had some car engine oil on her, so I gave her a bath right away. So after that, she was very chilled. She let me trim all her little dirty claws and she just wanted love and affection. She just was immediately obsessed with attention, which I loved, obviously. Because Ginny was so small, I didn't feel super comfortable just letting her roam the apartment. So whenever I was walking around, I was usually holding her, but she still wanted some autonomy. So she would wriggle out of my hands and climb up to my shoulder to make it her own decision. Then it became such a habit that that's genuinely where she wanted to be most of the time. <laughs> to the point of when she was old enough to have free run of the apartment, she would climb all the way up my jeans, up my shirt, just to sit up on my shoulder, usually while I was doing the dishes or going about my daily life. She always just wanted to sit up there on my shoulder. <laughs> I knew that putting Ginny out for adoption was gonna be really hard because we had created such a bond. But I do already have two permanent cats and I have to keep space in my apartment to be able to continue rescuing and bringing in more kittens off the street. So when I did actually put her up for adoption, I knew that I'd had to just find her the perfect home and the perfect companion so that she could have someone to grow up with and bond with. We actually had another solo kitten around a similar age and we thought that it would be very cute if those two got along. It just took a few days of having them here and playing together and eating together, and it was like they had always known each other. <laughs> they went home with their adopters a few days later, and I couldn't have imagined a better home for them. They got loved up on immediately, and the amount of updates that we receive of how much love and attention they're getting just makes me feel so good and so happy about having picked the perfect home for them both.